Hello everyone, this is Thomas Kincaid. I'd like to welcome you to my studio and introduce you to my newest painting, Streams of Living Water. Now the exciting thing about this painting to me is that it celebrates God's goodness and the act of worship. This is the third painting in my series entitled Chapels of Nature. People often tell me that when I create a painting that celebrates God in some way, be it my painting Sunrise or be it the Chapels of Nature series, that there is something in that painting that is different, something strong and personal. I think of my painting Perseverance. What a celebration of the act of faith. In fact, the little name on the side of the boat says faith. Your faith really is what gets you through tough times. Well, this painting celebrates the opposite from perhaps the sense of danger that God delivers us from. This is just celebrating the everyday goodness of God. This is another morning to wake up, smell the air, see the flowers, and say thank you, God, for another beautiful day. Now, you may remember my first painting in this series was entitled The Mountain Chapel. This was a fun painting for me because I envisioned a chapel set in the midst of a grandiose mountain setting. We saw the stream and the sense of water flowing down the mountain and the snow on the mountain suggesting an alpine climate. What a great way to celebrate God's goodness in a setting so dramatic. The second painting in the Chapels of Nature series was entitled Forest Chapel, one of my most popular paintings ever. In fact, this painting, which depicts a little church nestled in a, a tall evergreen forest, suggests stillness and morning quietude. It's as though you're nestled there amidst all the forest creatures celebrating God's goodness. As the third painting in the Chapels of Nature series, Streams of Living Water promises to be one of those paintings that really stands out as a landmark. For one thing, it's the largest painting I've done in the series. This original painting is 30 by 40 inches, a very unusually large size for me, which means that as I work on the painting, I can really embellish it with those kind of details I love to paint. Well, for one thing, you'll notice, of course, it's a lush spring setting. What a beautiful sense of flowers in abundance, as I tried to envision a perfect Garden of Eden-like setting. I wanted to put a large variety of flowers and foliage, but I also wanted to suggest the animal life of the forest. It's as though God's goodness is represented by the stream, truly a stream of living water, water that embodies life in every form. I really enjoyed putting all the animal life into the painting. Of course, we have the deer family coming up to take a sip at the cooling waters, and of course, a frog. What would a stream be without a few frogs nearby? The stream itself even seems teeming with life. If you notice the ducks that are paddling across the stream, and if you look carefully, there's also some trout in the stream. You'll see them very faintly there below the tree. What a perfect pool to drop your fishing line into and perhaps get a beautiful brook trout for breakfast. I love the sense of the sky that is beginning to emerge with sunlight breaking through the wispy spring-like clouds that suggest a beautiful day full of abundant warmth and sunshine. As you wander down the little pathway, uh, perhaps you might step into quiet glades, meadows teeming with wildflowers, and of course we sense the forest in the distance inviting us to walk along the stream and perhaps even climb the beautiful green mountain we see in the middle distance. This to me is a paradise, a paradise that is attainable because it's a place we can go, not just in our imagination, but if we could find this exact spot, we could explore it by foot, a step at a time, enjoying the richness of the landscape. You know, when I think of the subject of spirituality in art, I can't help but think of the great masters of the past, be it Michelangelo or be it the 19th century landscape painters in America, artists who celebrated God's goodness and whose personal artwork was derived out of a deep, individual faith in God. These are artists who painted from strength, from deep wells of their own faith. And I think they created some of the most masterful art ever painted. Every artist dreams that someday his work will find acceptance. And over the years, as I've seen so many people respond to these paintings, my real prayer is that these will be paintings that over time will continue to give strength to people that maybe a hundred years from now, people will still draw strength from the streams of living water. 
As I've always said, each painting is an adventure and a journey of discovery. I try to travel into the painting and imagine myself in that world. This painting truly celebrates beauty in its most intimate form, the form in which we can go and sit beside the still waters of God's love and bask in all his goodness. This is Thomas Kincaid, and I hope you will enjoy Streams of Living Water.